Good Saturday to everyone. Way warmer than what we've been experiencing for the past week or week and a half actually with temperatures really falling down into cold areas that we just don't want to be right now for this time of the year. Not the case for today, our Saturday temperatures making their way into the 50s, but with that we did have some light on and off showers and sprinkles throughout the Wabash Valley. As we look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker, you can see that rain just off to the west in Illinois and maybe some spotty light showers down towards Knox County pushing towards Washington, Indiana. We take a wider look at that, some moisture off to the southwest there precipitation in the form of some rain showers by St. Louis and into Missouri. Uh, stay mostly dry, but just overcast for our Saturday evening. This is a look outside right now so you can see those clouds that's really hanging over the top of us right around 56 degrees. We topped off at 57. How nice did that feel for our afternoon? Really didn't have to worry about those single digit wind chills that we saw last week. More like 53 degrees. The wind running out of the south at 13 miles per hour. Temperature and sky, the big picture here are pretty cloudy for most of the neighborhoods across the Midwest. And really that's that low pressure system that's moving in for our Saturday. But what we're going to be tracking is the one that's coming in on Sunday that could bring in some heavier rainfall. 56 degrees once again in Terre Haute, 58 off to the west for Springfield. Still warmer off to the south in the lower 60s. Nice. We haven't seen above average temperatures in quite a while. It feels really good out there to uh, see those temperatures in the 50s and even 60s. We can thank the wind out of the south for that right around 13 miles per hour. That's helping us warm up for our Saturday afternoon. But we look at the big picture once again. This is at 530 in the morning. This is over the last 12 hours or so. Freezing rain pushing into Iowa right here though. Uh, that rain pretty much came to a screeching halt for the early morning. Maybe some light sprinkles, but still a stream of moisture off to the southwest, which is going to make its way right towards us as we head into our Sunday. And that's exactly what we'll be tracking. So we are going to look at this wet but warmer weather, and then the rain is going to follow in with it. Temperatures above average and then eventually colder air behind this system. Futurecast at right around 6 o'clock. The clouds still painting across the Wabash Valley. Rain starts to make its way back in as we get into right around 10 o'clock. As for now, Futurecast is keeping some of the more consistent widespread rain off to the northwest, but a lot of that can make its way into our neck of the woods as we head into this evening right around 10 o'clock. We have a lull in the action as we head through the overnight hours, but get back into tomorrow morning. If you do have to head out and you're going to spend most of your day out and about, getting uh, some errands done maybe for your Sunday. Grab the umbrella because maybe some spotty showers for the morning and some isolated occasional showers. But then look at this as we get to right around three o'clock. Here comes in that next system and it's going to be working with a good amount of moisture. Here it is three o'clock all the way to seven o'clock consistent rainfall. I've painted right around half an inch to over an inch and a quarter and even some loc locally heavier areas could see even more precipitation than that. So we're going to get a good amount as we head into our Sunday. It could be an almost an all day rain event as we head through our Sunday and into Monday morning that should start to dry up. Tonight, a low of 44 degrees. That rain threat continues tomorrow, a high of 55 degrees, and that rain will be moderate rainfall. And with the temperatures this warm, can't even rule out a chance for a rumble of thunder for our Sunday. Those temperatures right there, though, will pretty much plummet as we head through our Sunday evening. Seven day forecast, 43 degrees on our Monday. That rain should be pretty much out of here, though, by the early morning, maybe even a snowflake or two. And temperatures are going to just fall down from there. That high will probably be right around midnight on Monday. Cooler weather on Tuesday at 35 degrees, mostly cloudy. Wednesday, partly to mostly cloudy at 43 degrees. Cooler weather. A slight chance for maybe a mixture of rain and snow on Thursday before we dry up once again on Friday and Saturday. But beware, colder weather is on the way by next weekend. 